Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Econolite. If you guys have noticed, over the last year, the shop has gone from dark and grimy to bright and beautiful. And a lot of that is because of these huge bay lights that we now have all over the shop. These are the C Light HB-B-RD lights from Econolite, and I have them linked in the description below. These are very common in retail stores, gyms, warehouses, things like that, and they're super bright. They're over 33,000 lumens each, and for comparison, your standard light bulb in a lamp is like 800 lumens. We have over 600,000 lumens worth of bay lights here in the shop now. And not to mention these puppies save over 65% of energy compared to traditional technology. And on top of that guys, these high bay lights last for 50,000 plus hours. That's a long time, that's a lot of time. If you wanna get the same look out of your lights, which is just a nice bright white finish, we have the 5,000 Kelvin lights. And guys, since Econolite is one of the largest, most well-established LED online stores for mechanics, contractors, DIYers, they're offering you guys a freaking awesome deal, 20% off your lights. And it's really, it's 20% it's off basically their whole website. And that's code Cletus20 if you use the link in the description. Code Cleat is 20, 20% 20 off. And Econolite even has a free lighting layout tool. You can use that to pick what you need. Make sure you got the right amount of lumens to light up your shop, garage, warehouse, whatever it may be. But guys, don't miss out on that 20% off. Again, that's code Cleat is 20. Check out Econolite after the video. But for now, let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. Hey guys, sorry about the homeless guy in the background. Um, but we're here at the shop and we're gonna open up this crate of live action. Went ahead and blew the tea case out of the F-150. Zachariah opened it up. Here's what it looked like inside. So let's see here. I see we got a broken chain. <laughs> got any broken gears? So we're missing this tooth. Oh! Right there. Damn. And then... That's a good tooth to have. Right there, this whole Ooh. bucket, I guess, is wow. cracked in half. Okay, <laughs> did it this time. We were like, yeah, we could probably repair it. But before we could even get it fixed, these fellas hit us up next gen parts place. And they're like, guys, we have a freaking T case that'll go right in the truck. So not only do we have one, we have a backup T case now from next gen parts place. And look at this packaging. Did you check this out, dude? Oh, it's solid. Yeah, you got the X brace on there. X brace, ready. dude. That's a pallet and a half. They do a damn good job at it. It's the best packaging I've ever seen. Hey, you've got barbed wire in case somebody tries to steal it. <laughs> Double down. Four They're like, we've seen how you guys treat stuff. <laughs> well, One ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> we'll offer you a backup unit, so. And free ratchet straps. Yeah, and free straps. That's probably the biggest part of this whole yeah, deal. So sure. we'll put their info in the description because they came in super clutch on this deal. Got these shipped to us quickly, sourced the parts, got them to us fast. We're gonna have the F1 smoke them, it's back up and ripping. Dude, them five, 500 pound Husky straps? Yeah, yeah dude. That's a come up in itself. Yeah. Solid packaging, so. Dude, even gave us the actuators and everything. What's that? Even oh, gave us yeah. the actuators and everything. Yeah, man, full units. I mean, that's plug and play, baby. Plug Throw one play. of them in the back <laughs> of the truck. Truck's already parked. Just got to swap in the new one, and hopefully we'll be doing a four-wheel drive launch here in just a little bit. All right, brother. Time to pick up the F-150. Big surprise day, dude. Check it out, dude. Khaki. Khaki. Okay. Khaki. <laughs> Wanted to match my shorts, dude. <laughs> I spent so long trying to figure out a color for this, and I was like, I don't know. Like, let's just do something crazy. Blue than khaki. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. That actually looks freaking sick. Dude, the wheel's black? Yeah. Sick. RTR grill? Yeah, RTR grill. Sick. I've never seen another one this color. Yeah, yeah, it's a super rare, weird color, right? Yeah. That I was just good. like, I couldn't think of anything. When I was looking at my shorts and I was like, is there a khaki color? <laughs> dude, this is not sick. Like, everything's blacked out now. Yeah. With the khaki, dude. <laughs> Project Prime, you guys know the deal. Out here just wrapping cars, making it happen. Oh, we should get some black headlights too, like the old truck had, the giveaway yeah, truck. Yeah, 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 we can get some of this thing. Brother, whole flock of Fords pulling out. Yeah, turbo F-150. Looking like a fresh pair of khakis, boy. Guys, I'm on the fence right now about some decisions I made, about some colors for the F-150. Uh-huh. 
It's, uh, you know, one of those things where I made a whim decision, <laughs> sent it via text, never thought about it again. Now the F-150 is a different color. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not really sure if I made the right call. <laughs> okay. That's that khaki, brother. <laughs> oh, <dang>. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty unique, right? It's very unique, yeah. You'll never uh, not know it's our truck. Dickies. We're trying to get that Dickie sponsor. Yeah, we're trying to get that Dickie sponsorship. I heard that. Um, it's a little on the peach side. It's kind yeah, of a, it's like a desert like peach. A desert peach. It's, it's as close as you can get, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And then yeah, the black look, wheels, they look the good. Look oh, dude. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. You know, there's really no going back for now. No. Definitely not going to pay to wrap it again. Fully committed. Don't know if it's the best color we could have ever chosen, but <laughs> hey, no one's going to say. But it's special. Is that not Cleese's truck? I mean, they're, they're going to no know. No one can say I got one just like it now. That's true. I don't think there's many khaki turbo F-150s out there. What are your thoughts? Looks like an old piece of paper, dude. <laughs> it is an old piece of paper it's now. 1980s stamped paper. A, maybe he spilled some coffee on it. Definitely coffee stain. That's a new name. Coffee stain? Coffee stain. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, this is the silver one. Look, it matches Skiff. Oh, it's a golden mobile. It's a golden retriever oh, truck. That's so cool. Do you yeah. actually like the color? No, I'm actually into it because I'm into the neutrals right now. Really? Yeah. Big neutrals, gal? I know. I was big on blue. I didn't yeah. know if you like it. I've been, been getting very mixed reviews. Look at that. Holly, come here. Doesn't really match Holly. Holly's a little darker. <laughs> what do you think of that, Holly? What do you think? Pretty crazy. I didn't know if you liked the color or not, but I wanted to bring it by for you to see. Oh my gosh, she's fired up about it. All right. All right, guys, we got Mr. Lund back up here at the shop. Yes, sir. What do you think of the color? We're, we're doing a, uh, a like it or don't like it poll. Um... Just be honest. Be brutally I mean, honest. You sent me a picture. It looks different in person, but I don't know. It's going to have to grow on me. <laughs> okay, like we'll put wheels. it down as the don't wheels, like it. <laughs> the wheels look 10 times better. Yeah, it's it's something. It's like kind of like a peanut butter with some mayonnaise in it, peanut I guess. Mayonnaise, yeah. yeah, it's peanut butter and mayo. <laughs> so, guys, we got some brand new fuel injector clinic injectors in this thing. So, we are hopefully not going to be out of fuel system today. See how far our fuel pumps go now. But we got Lund back in town, and we're going to try and make a little bit more than a 1,000. That's pretty good. It runs a lot better than it did earlier today. It's not, not rich anymore. <laughs> yeah, it had a lot of fuel earlier. All right, so let's see if the old turbo F-150 can make some real power as advertised. Last time, we ran out of fuel system right away. So today, we're going to pop back on the dyno, see if we can really throw some boost in this puppy. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, on the dyno we go. On the dyno we go. Sweet. Yep. Gotta move the old giveaway Tahoe. Chilling over here, ready to go on the dyno itself. This thing needs a couple little tuning things cleaned up, but we're gonna get to that once Dr. Tunamall makes it down here. Guys, I'm also happy to announce that the four wheel drive is working. I just tested it. We haven't been able to test it because the truck didn't run good enough, but it works. Ready to make some power, brother. 1,084. What's the limits on the boosts is on this thing? We're gonna find out. Okay, that's what I like to hear. If it makes 26 pounds, I'm gonna go with... 26? <laughs> dude, that's good. Little motor, dude. <laughs> I know. 1309. Listen, I'm here for it, brother. 1309, 26 pounds. We've blown up everything else in the shop. Oh, this one's At least good, this one bro. we can blame on him. Yeah, we'll blame it on John if it blows up. We have a tuner here to blame, dude. Yeah. Send it. <laughs> All right, let's roll it. Hey, I figured out what the color is. It's it's uh, it's peanut butter that someone mixed some mayonnaise into. Okay. That's Probably a, doesn't taste the best. No, doesn't look the best to you. <laughs> All right, first poll is just wastegate, guys. No boost controller. Just going to see if the fueling is right. Obviously, we got totally different injectors, so it's just wastegate, which should be like six pounds. Solid 680, 695 pounds of torque. 
That sound about right? Yeah. All right, round two, we put four pounds of dome pressure on it. We're right around 14, 15 pounds with four pounds of dome. Okay, so it might make it in the 800s, 7, 800 here. Our turbo's smoking a little bit, you notice that? Yeah. It smells a little bit like fuel in there too. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the smoke. Our turbo is uh, kicking the bucket. Yeah, that's not <laughs> 870 on that one. Yeah, loose drop still. So it oh, it did do the drop yeah, again? Yeah. Dang it, dude. It what could the just heck? Be the turbo. Yeah. It's an all in and then can't yeah. keep up. Kind Golly. Of oh, yeah, it did do it. It goes up and then it just rolls off. What the hell, dude? All right, so guys, the plan is. After 2.5 seconds, the boost controller is going to double the gate pressure, which should double or should add a lot of boost. So the first half of the run should sound spicy. Second half of the run should sound even spicier. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, boost hopefully, controller hopefully does something here. Pass on this. I would love that. Oh man, Camp Birmingham. Hey, here we go. That, Dude, so it sounds like you're going to just need a bigger turbo, huh? Unfortunately, what a what a tough situation. We need a bigger turbo. <laughs> what a terrible problem to have. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll race this at Streetcar Takeover if it's good. Oh yeah. Might even dig race it. Might even do the street truck class. Thousand sixty eight nine sixty one on the a, torque. That was a unit of rambunctious. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> All right, guys, we decided we're gonna try and remove our exhaust here in order to reduce restriction to our turf kit. So why we gotta get rid of that? Weight reduction. No, because it don't come out the hood. Yeah. 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 If our turbo came out our hood, we wouldn't have this issue. But here we are. We are ready to rip. No more restriction. Psh, we got no work. filter. We got no exhaust. Here we are. We just need methanol and we'll be good. Oh, oh yeah. Now, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Got a mechanical pump on there. You got the boost cranked up? It's the same ish. Yeah, same ish? Yeah. I like the ish on the end there. All right. There you go. Fresh plugs. Fresh oil change. Oh, it's not that much louder. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad though. Alright. I'm gonna pet the dino marlin real quick. There we go. down a little bit until we get a bigger turbo yeah okay no, we might hurt it this high boost i mean it's just it'll it'll just tax the valve spring more okay but we'll take we'll turn it down all right and then you have fun with it that way well okay sounds good to me and it's got plenty of fuel system now it seems oh, like yeah. Yeah, sweet plenty yeah <laughs> all, right, all right well we'll call you back when we get a bigger turbo <laughs> all right that's third Dude, that air always like works great. Holy, that's a, that's a rip. 
That's all. That's a lot of mayonnaise and peanut butter <laughs> rolling down the street. Holy yeah, crap! Moving. That transporter dance. Hey, big thanks to Lund Racing. Appreciate you guys coming down. Yes, sir. Making it happen again. Things are running good, man. We were all shocked. We just, I did it probably the hardest I had done it. Did you? Yeah, and it, it like, like it, it felt like it did a freaking wheelie with the front left. It was like it's taking off from a stop. Yeah. Things, things running good. So, guys, see the F 150 this weekend out at Streetcar Takeover, Bradenton. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for the little freaking. See you later.